Today I want us to look at two passages of scripture. Uh, the first passage is in both of them are in Luke. The first passage is Luke 4. Uh, 两段圣经都是在路加福音，第一段圣经是在路加福音的第四章。第四章，我们 begin with the 18th verse. 在第四章，路加福音第四章的第十八节。然后第二段的圣经是刚才菲律宾弟兄带我们已经读了的。Now, last week, Paul said to the church in Philippi. I count all things as trash in view of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. Uh,在上一个礼拜的我们的主题信息里面呢,我们领受了这个神通过石头保罗的书信在菲利比书的第三章,有讲到了这一节的经文说,保罗说,他说,我也将万事当作有损的。因我已认识我主耶稣基督为至宝我为他已经丢弃万事看作粪土为要得着基督 You see, he says, the value of knowing Jesus 他讲到是说我认识主耶稣基督为至宝 Now, what do you mean by knowing Jesus Christ? 那你说什么叫做认识基督耶稣呢? Okay, let's see if we can find out 而我们在圣经里找到答案，什么叫认识基督耶稣？ Now we come to that passage that uh, in Luke four，在路加福音第四章，我们来看一下。Now in, in, uh, in a synagogue in Nazareth, uh, Jesus was given Isaiah to read。呃，在耶稣自己的家乡，啊，就在家，就在这个啊拉萨勒，哦，他的会堂里面，他就读一段圣经。这段圣经在以赛亚书。now, this was at the beginning of his ministry. Remember that, his beginning of his ministry. But his fame had already begun to spread abroad. Uh, the people there in Nazareth were hearing about the miracles and the teachings that Jesus had done. Uh, and they were amazed at what they were hearing and hearing. 而且这个拿撒勒人听到耶稣所行的和所说的,他们就觉得很惊奇. So when Jesus came to Nazareth, uh, he went to the synagogue. Uh, 所以耶稣回到自己的家乡, 他到拿撒勒的时候, and they gave the book of Isaiah to him to read. 那么他们就把这个以赛亚的书卷呢, 就交给耶稣, now, he to open the book, he opened the scroll and to this position, this place uh, that we are going to read here. 呃，在路加福音四章的十八节，是在以赛亚书的书卷当中的其中一个地方。这段圣经我们等一下要来读一下。And so look at look at your verse, verse eighteen. 大家看路加福音四章的第十八节。See the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. 他说主的灵在我身上。And because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. 他说，因为他用油用膏膏我，叫我传福音给贫穷的人。To proclaim release to the natives. 他说，拆 captives. 他说，拆我报告被掳的得释放。To recover the of sight to the blind. 他说，叫那些瞎眼的得以看见。To set free those who are downtrodden. 他说，叫那些受压制的人得自由。to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord. 第十九节,报告上帝悦纳人的喜年。There were five things that this one who was anointed was supposed to do. 这里讲到这个受高的弥赛亚将要做五件事情。And the people in the synagogue are listening intently to see what he has to say. 这个... 
，这个在会堂里头的人听耶稣读这段圣经的人，他们听得非常的仔细，而且他们想听耶稣要说什么。See, they're in, and they've heard all of these wonderful things about him, and so they're anticipating uh, some wonderful message from him. 他们知道这个在会堂里面站起来读以赛亚书书卷的这个人，他们已经听说过这个人行神机，并且呢，他的教训人的时候与众不同，所以他们现在指望耶稣能对他们说点什么。Now look at verse twenty-two. 请看第二十二节 of of this of the chapter four, and it it says they were all speaking well of him. 在第二十二节说，众人都称赞他。These are the people in Nazareth that were speaking well of him. 这是耶稣的家乡拉萨勒会堂里头的人这样说他，称赞他。You see, they responded warmly to the scripture that he just read to them. 啊，对这一段的耶稣所读的以赛亚书里面的这个圣经，他们呢就是反应非常的热烈。They knew that those were the words of uh, Isaiah's words about the Messiah. 呃，这些犹太人都知道，刚才读的这段以赛亚书的圣经是上帝借着先知以赛亚啊、呃、所应许的那个要来的弥赛亚。Now listen to what I say。那请大家小心听我接着要说的。He was coming to deliver Israel from Rome。他们认为耶稣这个基督来了，要把他们从罗马帝国的铁蹄下面解放出来。Now that's not in the passage. 但是这句话不是在圣经里头，对不对 ？But this is in the back of their minds. 但这是在犹太人头脑里面他们的想法。This is what they're all thinking. 这是所有以以色列人都在盼望，他们他们认为是这样。This is why the Messiah is going to come. 他们会认为这就是你你基督要来的原因。And this is how this is how they under, how they came to understand that. 然后他们是真的是这样理解弥赛亚要来的这个目的的。See, they looked at that passage. 大家看这个这一段圣经。It says he sent me to proclaim release to the captives. 他说我他差遣我在第十八节哈，差遣我报告被掳的得释放。And they looked at themselves as the captives. 那他们看着自己，他们说我们是罗马帝国的殖民地、殖民统治，所以我们就是被掳的了。They were captives of Rome. 他们是罗马这个帝国的奴隶。And then look the next sentence. To set those free who are downtrodden, he said, "Call those who are oppressed to freedom." They are. This is what they thought. They are the downtrodden. They think we are the oppressed ones. They think we are the oppressed ones. They don't have the freedom. They think we are the oppressed ones. Because Rome has taken that away from them. Because Rome, Roman people, Roman Empire, took Israel's independent sovereignty away from them. Then they took it away from Israel. 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 For the favorable year of the Lord. They were waiting for the favorable year of the Lord. They were waiting for the favorable year of the Lord. They were waiting for the favorable year of the Lord. They were waiting for the And from what they were thinking, obviously, the favorable year of the Lord would be when they would be delivered from Rome. They think, what is the favorable year of the Lord? This favorable year is when they would be delivered from Rome. They think, what is the favorable year of the Lord? This favorable year is when they would be delivered from Rome. They think, what is the favorable year of the Lord? This favorable year is when they would be delivered from Rome. They think, what is the favorable year of the Lord? This favorable year is when they would be delivered from Rome. They think, what is the favorable year of the Lord? This favorable year is when they would be delivered from Rome. They think, what is the favorable year of the Lord? This favorable year is when they would be delivered from Rome. They think, what is the favorable year of the Lord? This favorable year is when they would be delivered from Rome. They think, what is the favorable year of the Lord? They heard that scripture, and oh, this is good. 当他们听到这个这个弥呃这个耶稣读以赛亚书经卷的时候，他们都觉得这感觉非常好。And then Jesus says, "Today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your ears." 第二十一节的时候，耶稣说什么呢？他说：“今天这经就是刚才念的这段经，已经应验在你们的耳朵中。” They glowed as they heard this word. 当他们听到这些话的时候，他们非常的高兴，非常的愉快。The Messiah was going to right all the wrongs that、uh, they had suffered from Assyria, Babylon, Greece, and Rome. 呃，他们会认为这个解救他们的基督来的时候，要洗净他们一切的屈辱和冤屈是什么呢？要从啊、呃、亚述帝国的下面
，要在巴比伦，要在这个这个波斯、希腊和罗马人手里所受的一切的压迫。See, they were speaking well of Jesus. 所以他们为此呢就称赞耶稣。But now I want to think about it. 所以请大家开动脑筋来思想一下这个事。Did they know who was talking to them? 这些犹太人真的认识，在他们面前读以赛亚书经卷，并且跟他们说话的这个人吗 ？They were amazed at him, at Jesus, and at the good reports that were coming about him. 这个第二十二节是时候说，众人都称赞他，并吸取他口中所出的恩言。How did he learn all this? 那么这个人是从哪里学的呢？耶稣从哪里学来的这些东西呢 ？They knew who he was. 他们都认识这个耶稣是谁呀、啊、？They grown up with him. 这个耶稣，这是他们他耶稣的家乡人，他们看着他长大的。He was Joseph's son. 他是约瑟木匠约瑟的儿子。Do you, do you see the problem that we're running into? 大家看见这问题的症结在哪儿 ？He says, "Isn't this the son of Joseph?" 你看他们怎么说？他说：“这不是约瑟的儿子吗？这不是做木匠的那个儿子吗 ？”They now. Jesus heard them say that. Heard them say that amongst themselves. 这个耶稣就听见他们在彼此这样说。And so he responded to what they were thinking and what they were saying to each other. 然后耶稣就怎么？耶稣就回应他们所说的。And he said, and he's talked to them, and he says, "You will say this prob, this proverb, physician, find yourself." In verse twenty-three, in the twenty-third chapter, heal, heal yourself. Excuse me. The twenty-third chapter, how do you say? Jesus said to them, "This is so." He said, "You will say this proverb, physician, find yourself." In verse twenty-three, in the twenty-third chapter, how do you say? Jesus said to them, "This is so." He said, "Physician, heal yourself." These people will say to Jesus, "Physician, you heal yourself." What did they say at the cross? 大家还记得在十字架，耶稣被挂在十字架上的时候，下面人怎么说来的 ？You have to look at Luke twenty twenty three thirty five. You don't have to open it up to that. 在路加福音的二十三章的二十五节，我来给大家读。And where the people looking at Jesus says, "He saved others; let him save himself." 这个他们怎么说？那些在十字架看着耶稣被钉在十字架上的时候，他们怎么说？他说：“这个人要救我们，难道他不可以先救自己吗？” You see, it's the same thing as physician heal yourself. 就像给对医生说：“医生，你不是医术高明了，你能不能医自己啊？” But then also, uh, Jesus says, "They will say what you did in Capernaum, do here." 哦，耶稣接着说什么？就在这个路加福音四章的二十三节，耶稣接着说：“他说，你们听，我们听见你在加百农所行的这些神迹，你在自己家乡也可不可以行一下啊 ？”Now all this teaching of Jesus and all the miracles of Jesus, he was doing it all around Galilee. 大家知道，耶稣在整个加利利啊，这个行了很多的神迹。But he did very little in in Nazareth. 但是他在自己的家乡拿撒勒行的非常的少。And Jesus said, "You're going to say." What you're doing in Capernaum, do it over here too. So Jesus 跟他们讲说，你们将来一定要对我讲说，哎，这个你在加百农在其他地方行的神迹，你可不可以也在我们面前也给我们行一下，来让我们也看看啊？呃 ，Why aren't you doing it here? 啊，为什么你不在我们自己家乡人面前给我们行个神迹看看呢 ？We have to turn to Matthew, Matthew thirteen fifty eight. 如果大家翻到这个马太福音的第十三章，它的五十八节。大家看看马太福音第十三章五十八节。Yeah, it's the last verse. The last verse, chapter thirteen. 应该是在这个马太福音第十三章的最后一节是圣经。And he did not do many work, many miracles there, and there was Nazareth because of their unbelief. 马太福音十三章的五十八节最后一节。他说：“耶稣因为他们不信，他们是指谁啊？就是拉拉撒勒的他的这个家乡人，他们那里不信，就在那里就不多行，在拉撒勒他就不多行神迹异奇呃异能了。They did not know him or believe in him as the Messiah, the Son of God. 他们。”实际上，他们以为认识耶稣，其实他们不认识耶稣。他们不知道这个拿撒勒人耶稣就是基督，就是上帝的儿子
They said, "Isn't the isn't this Joseph's son?" 你看他们说什么？他们不是说他是上帝的儿子，他们说是约瑟的儿子。No, uh, to show up their ignorance, Jesus relates two stories from the Bible. 呃、uh, ，为了让拿撒勒人认识到自己的无知，他就引用了两个故事。No, in the uh in the famine. Uh, this will be verse, uh, verses twenty-five and twenty-six. 在路加福音四章 chapter four. 路加福音四章二五二六 In the famine caused by uh, three years of rain,、um, there were many in Israel in want, but God sent Elijah to a Gentile widow. 大家发现，在这个路加福音四章的二十五、二十六节，耶稣跟他们讲了一个历史。他说呢，当啊、嗯，我我对你们说实话，当以利亚的时候，先知以利亚的时候，天闭塞了三年零六个月，遍地有大饥荒。那时以色列人有以色列人中有许多的寡妇，以利亚并没有奉差遣往他们啊、呃、一个人那里去，只奉差遣往西顿的。拉这个沙沙勒法一个寡妇那里去。You see, there was a there was a famine, and all the people three years it had not rained, and there was a famine all over Israel and the countries around it. 大家记得在先知以利亚的年代，那个时候有三年半一滴雨都没有下下来，那么当时就导致极大的饥荒。The Lord told Elijah, "You said you stay by the、uh, the river Cherith、uh, for a while and drink the water there, and the birds brought him food." 呃，当时耶和华让他到一个基利西的那个溪水旁边，在在在那里啊、呃、等待，然后呢，叫这个这个鸟呢来给他带这个食物来给以利亚吃。The Bible says it was crows. It wasn't any other kind of. It was the crows that brought them, but we don't know what that means. But that was, those crows got that the benefit. 啊、呃，那个是那种很很很，我们都现在都不知道当时讲的那种鸟是什么样的鸟。但是呢，当时耶和华就差遣这样的一种稀奇的鸟呢，就给以利亚送吃的去。先知是靠鸟为这个啊、呃、这个。But there was no rain, and so eventually the brook Cherith dried up. Ah, 很显然，那就是因为没有下雨嘛，就所有地上的庄稼和羊全部都死了。So even if the crows kept bringing him food, he had to have something to drink. 呃，但是对这个以利亚来讲，哪怕有食物来了，他他也得喝水啊。他先知以利亚不能不喝水啊。So God said, "Go over to Sidon, and there's a widow woman there." And meet her and go to her place. 这个耶和华就吩咐先知以利亚说：“你到西顿去，西顿是外邦啊。但你到西顿去，在那个地方，在那个撒勒法有一个寡妇，你到那哈那去。” And he went there and he saw a woman outside picking up sticks. 呃，当时他就去了，去了以后看见有一个女人在外面捡这个木材棍子。And he asked her for a drink of water. 他就跟这个女人，跟这寡妇要水喝。And he said, "Okay." And she went to get it. And he says, "While you're there, bring me a, a bun, a, a piece of,、uh, bring me some bread." 呃，这个这个女的，这个寡妇就给他去取取水来喝。这个先知跟他讲说，你能不能再给我一个一块面包吃 ？And、uh, she says, uh, uh, um, "Sir." Uh, I am picking up these sticks to cook for myself, myself and my son.、Uh, the last flour that I have, flour and oil that I have, to make a bread for us to eat. After we eat that, we will lie down and die because we have nothing more. 这个寡妇就对先知以利亚说：“他说，先生，我呢，之所以来捡这个柴火，是因为要干什么呢？是因为呢，我们家里还有最后一点面粉，还有最后一点油。”我准备呢，把这个面粉和油呢就做了，做了最后的饼以后，我和我儿子吃完以后就等死了。And uh, and uh, Elijah says that that's all right. You go and make me a、uh, loaf of bread first, and then make yourself and your son a loaf of bread. 这个以利亚说没问题，你先去，你先帮我呢做一块饼。啊，用你的油和面，接下来剩下的你给你和你儿子做一块饼。Because, uh, that 
flour that you have that, uh, and, and the oil that you have will never be finished until the famine is over. 这个伊利亚跟他讲，你要相信我，如果你让我现吃，你家里的油和面永远都不会停顿，一直到这个饥荒结束为为止，你就一直有面吃，一直有饼吃。She obeyed him and she went and made a loaf of bread for him first. 这个寡妇相信他，也顺服伊利亚的这个吩咐，就帮他做了饼，用这个油和面就做了饼给伊利亚吃。And after that, every day when she went to make bread, there was flour and there was oil. 所以从那以后每一顿当这个寡妇要去做饭的时候那个面缸子里面总是有面啊这个油缸子里总是有油 It was always there 啊这个总是油和面总是不断 Until the famine was over when she could buy flour and buy oil 后来一直延续到什么时候呢延续到饥荒结束这个雨下下来地上庄稼长起来然后到这个面它又可以得到面又可以做饼的时候为止 That was the story that, that uh, Jesus was referring to 现在耶稣在路加福音四章二十五二十六就在讲述这一个故事 and, and he was telling them, and telling them she was a Gentile, she was not a Jew 哦, 耶稣重点要告诉他们一个用意是什么呢 他说, 这么大的饥荒的时候，以色列那么多寡妇，耶和华没有叫他到以色列人家里去，叫他到外邦人家里去。But there were many Jewish widows who were just as destitute as that widow was. 那些以色列的寡妇跟西顿的那个寡妇一样惨，一样的惨烈，一样的可怜。But God sent Elijah to the Gentile. 但是上帝让耶和华的先知以赛亚啊，这个以利亚是到外邦人西顿的女人那里去。And the second story he told. Was about, was about Elisha and Naaman. 第二故事是讲先知以利沙和这个叙利亚将军乃曼的故事. Naaman was a general of the Syrian army. 大家知道乃曼是叙利亚军队当中的一个将军. And one of their raids of, into uh, Israel, uh, they had captured a, uh, a young girl. 在这个他们侵略叙利亚军队侵略以色列的时候他们就掳掳掠了一个以色列的一个少女 And this, this young girl was given as a slave to Naaman's wife 最后呢这个被掳掠的以色列少女就当作奴隶被这个赐给了这个叙利亚将军乃曼的妻子做仆女 And Naaman was a very important uh, general in the Syrian army because he was very Clever at the at war. Oh, this Naaman is a very brave general. So he was in the Syrian army, and he was very popular. But he had the disease of leprosy. But this general had the disease of leprosy. And because of that, he uh, he was very naturally he uh, he would uh, despair about his future life. 大家知道那个时候的大麻风就是不治之症，那么得了大麻风病的这个呃叙利亚将军乃曼呢，当然就是啊前途绝望，他就是人生就灰心了，就他就没有希望。Now this young girl told Naaman's wife. He says, if Naaman were in Israel, uh, he could be cured of leprosy. 这个时候以色列的这个少女呢，就对。他的主母就是叙利亚将军的妻子这样说。他说，如果将军现在是在以色列的话呢，以色列人当中有先知可以医治将军的大麻风。There's a prophet there that could cure him.他说，以色列当中有先知，他可以医治大麻风，这个不治之症。So Naaman told the king, told his king about it, and his king wrote a letter to the king of Israel and sent Naaman over, and he brought lots of gifts to give. And asked uh, asked the king of, of of Israel to please have him cured. 这个后来乃曼就相信，乃曼就跑到叙利亚王那里去求情，说我可不可以到以色列去找一个以色列的先知帮我医治这大麻风？这个王非常给面子，以叙利亚王专门写了一封国书，写给命令啊，命令以色
How does he expect me to cure this person? Nobody knows that they cannot be cured from leprosy. This big disease, who knows? 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 And said and told the king, he says, "Don't worry, send him over to me." This Elisha 就差他的仆人到王宫里面跟犹大王去讲，你不用担心，不要害怕。就这个人来了以后，叫这个人去来见我。So he came. So Naaman came with with the camels that were carrying all the 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 gifts that he was bringing along to Naaman's house. 后来乃曼来了。南门来的时候，这个呃，带用骆驼驮了很多很多的这个礼物啊，这个贵重的礼物，要来这个到有来来见先知的。And Elijah, in the way that Elijah dealt with with Naaman, he he sort of got offended at it. 但是呢，这个伊丽莎可不是那么给面子。你你这个奶妈来了，带了一堆的礼物，里面呃，伊伊丽莎的反应好像看上去非常不礼貌。Elisha didn't didn't go out and say some great thing. Oh, Elisha 没有到门口去见着将军，安慰他几句，或者说什么，发表一一通宏论，他什么都没说。He didn't do any signs. 啊，他也没有在他面前行一个神机啊，让天上降火来之类，他都不做。He just sent his servant Gehazi out. He says, "Go out, the fellow outside there. Go and tell him to wash in the in the Jordan River seven times." 他就吩咐他的仆人，他说：“你到门口去，看见有个赏大麻风的，你告他，到约旦河里去洗洗七次就好了。” Naaman got mad and he turned around and he says, "What is the Jordan River? I mean, we have rivers in Damascus that are that are better than the Jordan River." 这个南南蛮听了火了，这这这这火腾就上来了。他是说我这个这。这个这个风尘仆仆，我这么劳车尘船劳顿跑到这么大老远来，你叫我到约旦河里洗，难道你的约旦河的水就比我大马士士啊大马士的叙利亚的水还干净吗？这个我们那个河也是又大又宽，没什么了不起的。你这个为什么要叫我在这里洗七次呢 ？But the Naaman's servants were much smarter than Naaman was. 但是乃曼的这个仆人比乃曼可是聪明多了。They turned to him and said, "Master, look." If he told you to do some big thing, you would do it, wouldn't you? This servant told the king, "Said the king, 'If the king tells you to do something, will you do it?'" He told you to wash it, wash in the in the Jordan River seven times. He says, "Why didn't you do it?" He said, "If the king tells you to wash in the Jordan River seven times, will you do it?" He said, "Why didn't you do it?" He said, "If the king tells you to wash in the Jordan River seven times, will you do it?" Naaman humbled himself and listened, and he went down to the Jordan River and he went in to the Jordan River. This Naaman, 听不听啊？他真的听，他真的谦卑下来。这么大个将军，公就就下汤圆，就在那个在那个这个约旦河里面就进了，就这么七次，上来要下去这么七次。Now, just how he felt. When he went in and came out, looked at himself, and the leprosy was still there. This we don't know. The first time to the sixth time, he every time went up, came out, and when he saw the leprosy was still there, he was still there. 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 Still there. From the first to the sixth time, he washed. After that, he went down the seventh time, and when he came up, it was gone. When he came up, it was gone. But then he went down the seventh time, and when he came up, it was gone. 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 When he Is that there were many lepers in Israel at that time? Jesus 怎么说？他说乃曼得大麻风的时候，以色列境内也是很多的人生大麻风的。But only this Gentile was healed. 但是只有一个外邦人他得医治。Now, Jesus was showing to these people of Nazareth, Nazareth, a. Something they didn't know. Jesus 在这个地方跟他们讲一个重要的道理，是他们以前不这个他们不知道的。To them, Israel was everything. 
。对他们来讲，以色列，以色列王国，那是至高无上的东西。As far as God concerned, there was only Israel. 哦、uh, ，在他们以心目当中认为，上帝的眼里除了以色列没有别人了。Israel was responsible only to God. 而且呢，这个以色列呢，只这个在上帝的这个责任里面，只有以色列，他要照这个眷顾以色列就好了。But if they had read the whole chapter, the whole passage in Isaiah that、uh, Jesus read part of here, they would have seen that、uh, Isaiah was talking about salvation for the world, not just Israel. 但是如果以色列人真正老老实实读西西先知以赛亚的书书的时候，这里讲到这个上帝所差的受高的这个米赛亚将要来的，不仅仅是要拯救以色列，他要拯救全人类的，包括外邦人。And Jesus was saying, God's mercy and help is for all people in the world, not only for Jews. 耶稣在讲的是说，上帝的怜悯和恩典不仅仅是给犹太人，乃是给全人类地上所有的罪人。See a little bit later, he was going to die. This Jesus was going to die for the sins of the world, not the sins of of Israel. 这个拿撒勒人耶稣，约翰的儿，呃，这个约瑟的儿子，将来要上十字架。他上十字架的时候，不仅仅是为以色列人而死，乃是为全人类而死。Now you look at at at, at、uh, Verse twenty-eight down there. 在第二十八节，大家看四章二十八节。These stories, which were true Jewish history, 大家知道耶稣讲的这两件事都是真实的以色列历史上的历史事件。And it was recorded in the Bible as God's holy word. 而且这两个圣经的故事不不是耶耶稣凭口说出来的，耶这两个故事是在旧约圣经里面都记载了。When Jesus told it to them in verse twenty nine, it made them furious. 大家看见在二十八节什么？会堂的人听见耶稣这话，都怒气满胸。But in twenty nine, they tried to kill him. 到第二十九节，九节什么？他们因为耶稣讲这个话，他们想要杀他。They tried to push him over the over the cliff. They brought him to 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 the cliff. They brought Now they could not deny those two stories Jesus told them. 有一个事情大家牢记哦，耶稣所讲这个话不是耶稣另外新讲一段话，是他是引用了旧约圣经里面的故事。See those stories were in their Bible. 这些的旧约圣经的故事是犹太人也是天天读的。But they did not know him, did not know Jesus as the Messiah Christ. 他们知道旧约圣经的故事，但是他们不认识这个基督，就是上帝的儿子。They did not know him that as the Messiah that he had just read about. 他们不认识眼前这个耶稣，就是他们读的以赛亚书里面，上帝说我要高的那个受高的弥赛亚。See the Messiah to them, Messiah was to deliver Israel. 对犹太人来讲，上帝要差的以赛亚是什么？一个民族解放运动的领袖。And Jesus told them about. God delivering Gentiles. 但是耶稣现在告诉他说，上帝的慈爱是要拯救全人类所有的罪人。When Jews were suffering at the same time, in in the same way, 这个外邦人跟犹太人一样的受这个罪的捆绑和受死亡的这个这个捆绑。You see, again, Jesus was saying, salvation is for the world, not just for Israel. 所以耶稣是说什么？救恩是为全人类，不是只为犹太人。In other words, Jews and Gentiles are equally in need. 或者说，这个以外邦人和犹太人，犹太人和外邦人同样的需要神的拯救。And Jews and Gentiles, the Jews are no better than Gentiles. 而相比较之下，犹太人并没有比外邦人强。Oh, this made them angry. 这个犹太人听就不高兴。They always talk about the sin, the Gentile sinners. 他们这口头禅是什么？犹太的外邦人啊，这个外邦的这些罪人。And It, the wrong understanding of their history blinded them to the truth. So, Jewish people, for the history of these events, blinded them to the truth. Now, we we'll turn over to the passage that you read. We look at the passage that you read. We turn over to the passage that you read. We turn over to the passage that you read. We turn over to the passage that you read. We turn over to the passage that you read. Do you have it on the paper? In this, in the 
Verse 22, Joseph and Mary brought the baby Jesus to the temple. See verse 25, to offer him, to offer Jesus to God, for he was the firstborn. And in the law of Moses, the firstborn of people and animals belong to God. Now in the temple was a man named Simeon. And it says that he was a religious and devout man. And he was looking for the consolation of Israel. And now, now remember, the others were looking for political deliverance from Rome. But this Simeon was looking for the, for the consolation, that which would bring peace. Uh, uh, the consolation, peace, but not uh, physical peace here. It, was, it had to do with the spiritual. 当说以色列的安慰者的时候，不是什么，不是不是以色列的和平缔造者，不是以色列的这个这个救星，乃是一个属灵上的一个和平的一个这个安慰者。Now the Holy Spirit had told him that he would not die before he saw the Messiah。而且呢，圣经记载说，圣灵告诉他说。so when Joseph and Mary brought uh, Jesus to the temple, the Holy Spirit brought Simeon to the temple.在第这个二十七节里面讲说什么？当这个约瑟和玛利亚带了耶稣去这个圣殿的时候呢，圣灵有也吹了，也带了西面西面的到圣殿去。Now in verse twenty-eight, and when when he saw them, he took Jesus in his arms. And blessed God. 大家看见在第二十八节什么？西面就从这个约瑟和玛利亚手里接过耶稣来以后，他就称颂神。You can, you can see you can see a uh, um, Simeon there holding the little baby in his arms and blessing God. And he says, "God, now you can let me depart in peace." 大家可以想象，这么一个老人手里拿的这么一个出生才没多久的孩子，他手里抱着他的时候，他什么？ 他说：“主啊，如今照你的话，你可以释放你的仆人安然去世。”Perfectly all right for me to die now. 我现在死是完全就没问题了，我可以走了。Because uh, my eyes have seen your salvation. 他说：“因为我的眼睛已经看见了你的救恩。”And in, in Isaiah, Isaiah, it speaks about salvation as for the world. 在以赛亚书里面说，救恩是为全人类的。Salvation in the Bible, the word salvation in the Bible is, uh, is always salvation from sin. Simeon, looking at that little baby, knew who he was. Just like the Magi, the, the Magi who came from the east, when they came to Bethlehem and they saw the little baby, they knew who he was. They knew who he, they knew who he was and so they worshipped him. 他们认出他是谁, 所以他们才什么, and so Simeon says, he knew who he was, and he says, I have seen your salvation. Here, this little baby, that's your salvation. 所以这个西面, 他说, 为什么? He 
He knew who he was looking at. 他很，他认识这个，他所看见的这个人。He had read Isaiah 61:1, which, which was the passage that Jesus had read to the to the synagogue in 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 Nazareth. 这个耶稣跟拉撒勒的会堂里面的人所读的一呃，这个呃，这个那一段圣经，就是以赛亚书六十一章一节的这段圣经，也。这个西面也读过，他也知道这段圣经。And he he knew who that baby was, and he also knew why he had come. 他知道这个婴儿是谁，然后呢，他更知道这个这个孩子来到这个世上的目的是什么。Because in verse thirty-two of chapter two it says, "He is a light of revelation to the Gentiles." 因为在三十二节来看，二章三十二节说。他是外照亮外邦人的光。He said he knew that this salvation was for the Gentiles. 他知道这个救恩是也是为为这个也为外邦人所预备的。Jesus Jesus had told him about the the Syrophoenician widow and about Naaman. It wouldn't have bothered him at all. They were Gentiles, yes, but salvation is for them. 如果西面也是在拉撒勒会堂里面听耶稣讲说，当年以利亚是到这个西顿的寡妇那里去，乃叙利亚的乃曼得得医治的话，西面不会勃然大怒的。西面说：“我知道，以色列安慰者来到的时候，他也要成为外邦人的光，成为外邦人的拯救。” He said he is a light of revelation to the Gentiles. 他说：“这个是照亮外邦人的光。” But Simeon didn't leave, leave Israel out. 但是呢，当然，西面没有说他只是外邦人的光，犹太人没份，他没有这样说。He continued there in thirty-two, the glory of God's people Israel. 你看，他不但说耶稣是照亮外邦人的光，他又说又是你名以色列的荣耀。This little baby is the glory of God's people Israel. 这个婴儿是这个婴孩是什么呢？是这个以色以色列民的这个荣耀。But he's also a light of revelation to the Gentiles. 他不但是以色列人荣耀，他也是外邦人的光。Salvation was for the world. This salvation is for all humanity. And it came to the world through Israel. Ah, this salvation to this world came through Israel. See, that's why it was a glory to the people of Israel. Because of this reason, it was a glory to the people of Israel. Because of this reason, it was a glory to the people of Israel. Because of this reason, it was a glory to the people of Israel. Because of this reason, it was a glory to the people of Israel. Because of this reason, it was a glory to the people of Israel. Because of this reason, it was a glory to the people of Israel. Because of this reason, it was a glory to the people of Israel. Because of this reason, it was a glory to the people of Israel. Because of this reason, it was a glory to the people of Israel. Because of this reason, it was a glory to the people of Israel. Because of this reason, it was a glory to the people of Israel. Because of this reason, it was a glory to the people of Israel. Because of this reason, it was a glory to the people of Israel. And how it would be received? 而且呢，这救恩将要怎样的被承被领受 ？Simeon knew an awful lot here. 这个西面懂很多。大家看见 ？Look at verse thirty-four. 大家看三十四节。He told Mary this. 他对玛利亚说 ，This child is appointed for the fall and rise of many in Israel. 他说这孩子被立是要叫以色列当中许多人跌倒，许多人兴起。And for a sign to be opposed. 咋还有还有什么呢？他说是啊，做人这个这个毁谤的画饼，攻击的对象。And remember, those in Nazareth they tried to push Jesus over the cliff. 大家发现，在自己的家乡，人要把他从山上推下去，要想除掉他。The priest said, "Crucify him! Crucify him!" 这些祭司怎么说？钉死他，钉他十字架。But then he said. A sword shall pierce your heart, Mary. 最后一句什么？他说：“玛，玛利亚，你自己的心也要被刀刺透。” How did she feel when she saw Jesus hanging there on the cross? 大家可以想象，耶稣的生母看见耶稣被挂在十字架上的时候，他的心是不是被刺透 ？See, Simeon knew this man. 西面很认识，非常认识这个人。And he said, "Now I can die in peace." 他说：“主啊，感谢你，我看见了，我现在可以安然去世。” Because I've seen your salvation. 他说：“因为我已经看见了你的救恩。” Now Paul said, "I count all that was given was gained to me as trash in view of the surpassing value of knowing." Christ Jesus, my Lord. He 怎么保罗后来怎么说呢？他说我将万事都当作有损了，因为以认识我基督耶稣，我主基督耶稣为至宝，那么我就把一切都当作粪土。Paul, when he said that, 
He was a Christian. He was one of he was God's servant when he said that. 当保罗说这个话的时候，他已经得救，他已经是做神的一个仆人了。You and I have believed in Jesus Christ as our Savior. 今天你和我，我们也认识了耶稣基督，是这个是啊，相信耶稣基督做我们个人的救主。How do you know him? 请问你认识耶稣 ？Does he fit into your culture? 他是不是在你的文化里面？ He did not fit into the culture of the people in Nazareth. 在他的家乡拿撒勒容不下耶稣。He did not fit into Paul's culture. 在保罗的文化里面没有基督的这个地位，所以他追杀基督徒。The thing is, if he was the Messiah, he's the Son of God. He must be in control. 如果他是基督，他是上帝的儿子。他就要掌控一切，所有的万事万物，天地万物都在他的手手掌心里。Does he have con- charge of your life? 他是宇宙万物的主宰，他是不是在你的生命中可以掌权 ？Is he able to present you blameless before God? 他可不可以把你无瑕无疵的献给神 ？The people of Nazareth would not let him. Uh, present them blameless. They tried to push him over the cliff. His old family, Nazareth people, didn't want him. 如果他是上帝的儿子，他有没有权利要你绝对的服从他 ？Or do you say no? He can get me to be here, but not over here. 还是说，你说在这个事情上是神可以做主，另外一个事情上老子自己做主 ？If that's the case, we really don't know yet. 如果你是这样认为的，那么你不认识耶稣。Is he the everlasting and only God? 他是永永远远唯一的上帝。Does the whole universe belong to him? 请问这宇宙万物是不是都属于他的 ？These, this apple tree, this apple tree you have in the back here. 这个外面的苹果树 ，Who is that apple tree? 这个苹果树的这个主人是谁啊 ？Actually, it's in your yard. 这看起来是在杰森家里，这是主主人是这个属于这个他们他们家的。But that apple tree belongs to God. 但是这棵苹果树属于耶稣的，所有权是由耶稣拥有的。The squirrels think it belongs to them. Oh, this, this, that. Those squirrels think, uh, this is their treasure, their treasure. And they eat all the all the apples. So they don't let Jason eat. They eat all of them. But the tree and the apples belong to God. They belong to Jesus. But this tree, the apple, 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 He created the the squirrels and he created the rabbits that come in and eat your grass. 这个在这个杰森家里跑来跑去的这些小田鼠啊，啊那个是个那个小那个小兔子啊，野兔子和吃吃完他们家苹果树的那些啊这些这些这些这些这个，呃这些都是上帝所都是上帝所造。And he created you. 上帝也造了你和我 ，You and I belong to Him。你和我都属于神。We belong to Him, even though we don't believe in Him, we belong to Him。你说我不认识耶稣，我我我我不相信他，你不相信他，你也属于他。And uh, uh, is we ask the question: Is all the power in heaven and on earth His？ 请问。在这天地万物之间，天上地下所有的权柄、所有的能力，是不是都属于耶稣一个人 ？In Matthew it says, in Matthew twenty-eight it says, all power in heaven and earth has been given to me. Jesus said that. 这个在马太福音最后一章最后最后几节经文时，他怎么说？他说：“天上地上所有的权柄都赐给我了。” Will he cleanse from sin all who believe in him? 耶稣有没有能力？把所有相信他的人的罪全部除掉。John yesterday,、um, talking to the men, said that when the uh, when the uh,、um, one came out of heaven riding on a horse and 
his army behind him dressed in white. They were absolutely clean. Uh, 昨天这个约翰弟兄跟我们一同在这个弟兄的早餐会上分享的这些一些一些圣经里面的道理，其中他引用一段在启示录里面的圣经，说什么？当耶稣骑在白马上从这个出来的时候，他后面跟着的这个
我们一定要解决一件事情，就是我们如何来看待那个曾经将士为人的小孩，后来被挂在十字架上的那个耶稣。We don't, we don't know him fully as we should. 我们很多人认识耶稣不够，我们应该认识的更多、更多、更够，但是我们常常不够认识他。So let's each of us pray. 我们来祷告。And when we pray, we ask the Lord. Please help me to know you. 我们祷告的时候，求主说：“主啊，你帮助我，使得我可以认识你。”Please help me to know you in every aspect of my life. 主啊，求你帮助我，使得我在我生命的每一个角落，我都可以认识你，都可以这个，都都都可以，都可以呃，这个这个领受神的恩典。Only the Holy Spirit can do that. 那么这个工作谁可以让我们认识耶稣呢？这个工作唯独上帝基督耶稣的灵圣灵可以帮助我们。Only Jesus can do that. 只有耶稣基督可以帮我们。He's the one who presents us blameless. 他才能够把我们无瑕无疵的呈现给世天父。Blameless, we have to know him. 我们要变成无瑕无疵，我们必须要认识基督耶稣。So let us pray and pray that way. 我们大家来一起开始祷告。Michael will close us. 我们等一下我来做结束。Many places. I don't act because I don't know you fully. I don't act correctly. Oh God, I pray that you help me to know you, so that I can live as I should live in a way which is pleasing to you. Oh Lord God, I pray that you will speak to us, speak to me, Father. And Lord, open my eyes to know you and to see you in everything. Oh Lord Jesus, I thank you. Because of what you have heard, I know that you hear and you have heard. But Jesus said, I you. Abba, Father, we come to you. Sometimes we think we believe you, but are we really knowing you? Do we really know you? Do we really allow you to be the king in our lives? Are you, do you reign in my life? Do you reign in our lives? Do you reign in our church? Do we worship, her, uh, worship you in our lips, not our lives? Do we know you just as much as Simeon knew you? Do we know you the way Paul knew you? Do we know you the way that you want us to know you? Father, we can't know you by ourselves. Please have mercy on us. Open our eyes to see and know who really Jesus is. Not only to know your identity, but to receive you as the Messiah, as the King, as the Lord, as the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Almighty God who reigns forever and ever in my life and in our lives. Father, we thank you that we can know Jesus because you reveal yourself through your son, Jesus Christ. Simeon recognized Jesus. Paul knew Jesus after his eyes were opened. His physical eyes were blind when he knew you, when he saw you. Father, do the same thing to us, that our physical eyes might blind, but our hearts will be open. Our spiritual eyes will see you. Thank you. May our lives live like what Paul 
wants us. What the Paul teaches us that we should throw out the trash. We should give up the pride, our own pride. We only boast in our Lord Jesus Christ and His His cross. We thank you. 主啊，我们感谢你。很多的时候，我们认为我们认识你，因为我们说我们相信你。很多时候，我们认为我们是基督徒，我们就认识你。主啊，我们常常并不这么认识你。我们不像那个行将去世的西面，他可以一眼认出，一眼认出那个从来没有行过神迹、还不会开口的，在他手抱的婴儿。主啊，他在圣殿上看见耶稣的时候，主啊。